We're on location today. Me and little cuz are here. We're out here in Lake Lehman, PA. We got Uncle Rob with us today. Michelle, this is amazing. I Thank love you. the greenhouse. So I always ask someone, how long have you been gardening? What's the name of your garden? Uh, this is about my fourth year. Uh, I don't actually have a name yet. I've been thinking about it though. Awesome. So it's in the works. And we're here to check out salad today. This is my sister-in-law's salad. This is her red leaf. She's smoking me right now. <laughs> but the amazing part is, Michelle, this isn't even your first harvest, right? No, this is, this will actually be my second. And I, you know, obviously they're very ready to be picked. So show us how you actually trim it back because these all grew. This is her second harvest. Mm -hmm. She's going to teach us today how you can self-sustain plants and get more than one crop off them. So we're gonna sh let you do your thing. All right, so first things first, I pick up the plants. There's actually two in here, wow. as you can see. Yeah. Um, and I will find the outer leaves, always trim from the outside, because um, that promotes growth from the inside. So you could get several harvests from you know one lettuce. It's action time. So show us how you do this. You're at the bottom of it, you're on the outside leaf. Yeah. Let's and see. I just get a pair of scissors. You could also use a, a sharp knife and I just cut it. Wow. And then, and then what? We're keeping these internals. We're not going to touch these because this will be your third grow then. Right. Mm -hmm. To me, this is where the artistry of gardening comes. If you ever hear me, I always talk about gardeners being artists. A lot of us aren't painters. Some of us can. But in this case, what she's able to do is treat this plant with love and the artistry of actually trimming it back, the plant showing her the value in keeping it alive and not just clipping it in one crop. It keeps rejuvenating new life. And that's what gardening is all about, the circle of life. They're so oak tree here, they even got a bumblebee in this garden. Ming, yeah. Well, Michelle, thank you for having us. I appreciate checking out your garden today. We're gonna come back to talk about tomatoes. And as always, maybe when we come back, you'll have a name for your garden. I hope so, I'm working on it. <laughs> Michelle, you're part of the Goombat world now, and obviously, look at the artistry. I love how you trimmed this up. It this kind of looked like- all trimmed. All trimmed, and look at these, untrimmed. Comparing, yes. If we look at the fact that you got three heads of lettuce off this already, and for one cost of seed, you're already winning at the grocery store. Yeah. But you're an all-natural girl. <laughs> so what is your Goomba tip of the week? My Goomba tip of the week is add Epsom salt when you're watering your plants. Boom! Goomba <laughs> tip of the week. Well, thank you for having us today. Thanks. You don't got to go to big box store for your soil. If you go to local gardeners, they'll still, the landscapers will bring your dirt right to you. It's my brother-in-law, Thompson Landscaping. Thank you, Johnny. But remember, you don't have to go to Lowe's. You don't have to go to Home Depot. Call your local landscaper. They'll drop off your dirt. Super excited. It's cold crop harvest time. I'm going to show you some things that worked over the first five to six weeks and some duds. Look at this red cabbage. This bad boy is letting you know it's loving life right now. So it's his little paisan right here, but I'm not an expert, right? Look at one thing over and look at the difference in yield. It's crazy. I would say the romaine heads of lettuce will be trimming back with my wife today. And if you look at our red leaf, which is usually the star of the show, uh, it really turned out nice this year. Look at this showroom piece though. I love red leaf. Um, I love what it's all about because of the expense of it. Look at how this grows. We'll pick these outside leaves. We'll leave this bad boy in the middle so we get another head out of it. Planted a romaine right next to it. Obviously we're all in pots here, right? Nothing crazy. This is my onion field and they definitely took, I got 21 heads. If I end up with 15, I'll be happy. I switched my strawberry, I gave it to GT, he had more room, parsley survived. I always do cloth on the bottom and that's how it survived. And if you notice, I do have bean sprouts in there, or pea sprouts, so it did work. This is my project today, time to get the tomatoes in. Looks terrible right now, let's see what we could do with it. Doc, you gotta step your soil game up. You're getting those little girly bags where the local landscaper, like Cousin Kev said, will drop off your mushroom compost right to your house. Call a local landscaper to deliver your dirt. We got work to do. Let's go. This is 100% backbreaking work. I'm lucky I have a wife and child. You got to keep everybody working. That's what the key is here. You got to goomba this up. We got the goombat working. Mrs. Goombat. 
I'm super exhausted. Hope everybody's enjoying their Memorial Day. Uh, all my plants are in now. Obviously, I'm older, so that's why I plant the salads and stuff earlier because I can't get it all in in one shot. But I'm super exhausted. I'm going to show you what I updated in my garden. Tomatoes, peppers, marigolds, basil, ba-ba-ba-boom, eggplant. So as I showed you this earlier, it was just nothing. And now I got everything I need in. Um, I always take a couple of these bed sheath cloths and put them on a few just to see how they go. Because sometimes if it gets cold at night, always a trick my grandparents did. I put braces in, if you notice. So my long wire is good to go. So I don't want to be messing with this once these things grow up. So that's why these are already in. If they grow up to six feet, they're there. And I have these in to support the weight of the future branches. I do marigolds for the bumblebees. I got basil because the tomatoes like it. Um, but I'm in the ground. This is what I did today. Uh, my wife worked on all the garden beds as well. Great day.